Okay guys, this clip is not going to have any type of edit. Okay, so I'm going to show you the overclocked. And the reason why I'm recording it with the camera, if you have any questions, it's because I don't want anything else running on the background. Okay. So there you go. You can see right here. 4.5 it's showing a little bit less but it's 4.5 and I rank up the core voltage to 1.3 volts okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and open up the file Raisin graphics okay and I'm gonna go ahead and bring CPU Z right here and if you have any questions I do have it on the resolution of um, render 150 samples I'm gonna go ahead and click render image let's go overclock to 4.5 gigahertz Okay, so you can see that. There's no edits to this clip. Absolutely no edits, not even the audio. Let's check up the seconds up here. I'm gonna leave it right here. And it did it at 39 seconds and 39 milliseconds. So pretty much 39. Now have in mind that I'm going against 8 core processor 16 threads. Uh, the i7-5820K, it's 6 core processor 12 threads. And well, I was able to get it done overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz at 39 seconds. I still can't beat it even overclocked. But, you know, at 4.5 gigahertz, I almost match the performance of a A core processor. So, uh, that is pretty cool, I think. So, there you go, guys. Take a look at it again. Ryzen, the score was 36 seconds. And mine was 39. Overclocked. Now my previous bench, I got it on 53 seconds at 3.3 gigahertz, not overclocked, and at 1.1 volts, something like that. So, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the like down below. Subscribe. I'm going to be uploading. I'm going to be a stay up to date with racing it's time for amd to race out of the ground with racing yeah that was super super overhyped <laughs>